So how does this, all of this translate into um, developing products or maybe having a software development cycle? Right. How do you add features which are secure and which are sort of like abiding by all of these rules? Right. So uh, th that's a very interesting thing. The uh, software life cycle, right? So we want to call it the secure software development life cycle. Right. And um, it, there, it has a bunch of things that need to be taken care of. Right? So it's no longer that we just have uh, applications or third party uh, APIs or third party open source libraries that we can use in our applications. That is all good and fine. But the idea to actually have a secure automated uh, testing pipeline has to be built in to all stages of your uh, application development. For cloud native security, you have to protect all of the assets that you actually have deployed on cloud. And that means, uh, first of all, understanding the context of your application, understanding the substrate your application uh, operates in, like the containers or VMs. or So you have to take care of OS level things, app level things, containers. Right? And it all boils down to uh, a bunch of different code principles or best practices that have to be followed in following the secure lifecycle development, right? Uh, first of all, there is thing called applications uh, static testing. That essentially means that uh, all of the source code <coughs> uh, and the third party libraries that your application is actually using has to be statically analyzed to see if there are any vulnerabilities that has to be built in to your CI pipeline, uh, right? Then there is uh, uh, dynamic application testing, right? Uh, that essentially means that once your application is deployed, uh, another name for it uh, is penetration testing as well, where you actually see, uh, like scan the ports or scan the IPs of your space and see what are some of the things that are open and uh, can leave you vulnerable, right? Uh, the third part of that is integration application static testing that is similar to dynamic testing in terms of uh, it operates dynamically, but its uh, goal is very different. Its goal is to find out runtime vulnerabilities. So you have to have a runtime scanning infrastructure in place uh, that continuously scans and monitors your environment, right? And more recently, there's another thing that has come into picture that's called runtime, it's called RASP, runtime application self-protection, where your applications uh, are built in a way or are, su are supported by services that essentially detect these issues that happen at runtime and then do self-mitigating actions, generate real-time alerts, right? Something suspicious has happened. Uh, for example, there's a DDoS going on. What, how to detect that and automatically remediate that? That is what falls under RASP. So all of these things together, uh, static application testing, dynamic application testing, uh, static also includes configuration management, integration application testing, and runtime application, um, self-protection, all of this contributes together to create a secure life cycle deployment for an application. Mm -hmm.